Welcome back from my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hand Tech on Monday, the 1st of June, looking at Euro dollar, which has been climbing and it's testing the resistance of 11.45, that key March high, um, the lower high that it had in March, I might add, but it's testing, it's tested that resistance a couple of times in the last two sessions, 11.44, 11.50. 53 being my traded highs um, on here. Um, it's still positive and it's still looking good. I might add that 67 on RSI, it's not a huge amount of upside potential, you might think, because aside from that move that we saw in March where the RSI got to 80, generally speaking, RSI on Euro dollar tends to peter out on the strong bull runs around that 70 mark. You can see going all the way back, it pretty much well, apart from that early 2018, very, very rarely does it ever get anywhere to go above 70. So in an extended position in, at 68, you might think that upside potential is a little bit limited um, on um, on euro dollar now, so on the RSI. So it's possible that you might get a bit of a stalling of this rally, and you might get a little bit of a bit of a pullback, but you do still have this uptrend, and um, you've essentially been in an uptrend channel. I, I sort of got rid of this channel the other day, but it still is essentially an uptrend channel. You can argue um, over the past uh, month or so, um, and the strength of the momentum is still pretty solid. So you'd be looking to buy into any weakness, but as I said, that upside potential of the immediate breakout above eleven forty-five may well start to sort of eke away a little bit and you might get that pullback, which, as I said, would be a buying opportunity for me. Um, you've got this on the hourly chart as well. Again, a, a sort of nearer term uptrend, but even that comes in uh, quite a way back at 10.35. So you do have room to play this for a correction um, if Euro dollar does start to roll over a little bit. And as I said, the, the potential for that happening is reasonably high. It even adds to it on the hourly chart where you've got slight negative divergence now on the lower high on the, the RSI where the market actually went up slightly above the high um, to 11.53 and rolled over. So there is this slight air of potential correction on Euro dollar, nothing too significant. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna be all the way back down on the 107s around uh, again, but I think it, you could see a pullback towards that neckline. You haven't really seen that yet. Um, that neckline is around 10.15 again, the breakout of the consolidation rectangle. And again, that's not a million miles off where the uptrend would be developing through this week. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 po it's, it's possible that we could see a, a start to see a little bit of a corrective slip back on euro dollar. Um, but I would use it as a buying opportunity. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.